Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. Those are my friends at yarnspirations.com. Today is the softly striped crochet wrap. This came in as a request to be able to understand this pattern even more. The question really became is that the crochet feels that they're losing stitches on one side and gaining on the other because it has a lean. So that's what today's tutorial is all about, is to show you how to do it and also some perceptions that I have as an experienced crocheter. Based on the picture on page number two, I believe that this stitch is leaning on itself. This is very much almost like a C to C corner to corner. And you know that if you're tight, when you do the decrease that you end up with a slight slant. So what I believe is happening on this particular one, usually when you fold something over and you create the look of that, usually what happens is that the lines stay uniform to the fold. In this case, it's not, and you see how it's leaning. So I believe that the crochet is doing the pattern correctly. It is just the stitches that have a lean, and because it's a wrap, you can't really tell when the model's wearing it that that's actually happening. So without further ado, I'm going to leave the instructions for the colors A, B, C, D are the colors you can see here, and you're going to be able to break those down. So my concept today is to show you, this is a multiple of four, so if you wanna change the concept, you can just, instead of 96, you can just keep it in multiples of four, and then you'll have the balance. And then in this particular case, there is a crochet diagram on page number two, and I'll take you through the repeating instructions in order to do that. So I'm just substituting today and just with regular yarn with a five millimeter size H crochet hook. So you can either chain 96 as per the pattern, or you can just do multiples of four, which is what I'm going to do. So one, two, three, four, big enough, yes or no, if not, continue along. So one, two, three, four, and continue until you either 96 or multiple of four. So let's begin row number one. We're gonna go four chain from the hooks. We're gonna count it back. So one, two, three, and four. Turn it and get the back hump of the chain. It'll just look nicer, but if you prefer not to, then don't bother. So then I want you to put three double crochets in that fourth chain from the hook. So we have one, two, and three. And so there we go. And then we're going to skip a total of three chains so one two three and go to the four chain and single crochet now we're going to chain three once again so one two three and in the same stitch where the single crochet is coming out of you want to place in three more double crochet so we have one two and three and then you're gonna skip the next three chains. So one, two, three, single crochet in the next. Chain three to start, one, two, three. And in the same stitch where this um, is coming out of, three more double crochet. And you're going to do this all the way across. So please just put me on pause now and I'll see you at the end of the chain in just a moment. When you get all the way to the end, you're just doing this configuration. You're skipping three and you'll single crochet into the last chain. This is considered the foundation row. So it's actually not row number one at all. And so it'll look like this when you're done. So let's turn our work and begin the next row. And this is row number two. So right where you're sitting, you're going to just chain three to begin. And in the same beginning single crochet, you're going to apply three double crochet. So we have one, two, and three. Now the chain three that you had, you wanna go right into the space. If you're familiar with corner to corner, it's the same thing. So you're just gonna single crochet into the space and then keep on moving along. So in order to start the next one, you were going to, in this single crochet down here, you were going to apply three double crochet. So we have one, two and three and then in the next corner of uh, this chain three space sorry is a single crochet and then continue along so you're filling in the spaces as you go so in the single crochet here three more double crochet so we have one two and three and look for the chain three space here fill it in 
and then you're going to continue this all the way to the end. So this is going to be the ending. So you come along and you'll put in your three double crochet. So one, two, and three. And what I would seriously consider doing, I would seriously just don't go into a space itself. I'd go into a single crochet chain. I would single crochet into the chain work itself. So don't go into a space, go into the very top of the chain work and single crochet in, and that will hold it down just like that. So let's turn our work and begin row number three. Okay, let's start row number three. When we start row number three, we're going to chain three once again. So one, two, three, and in the same stitch that you're coming out of, you are going to apply three double crochet. So one, two, and three. Now you're gonna reach over and right where the single crochet is over here, you're going to match that and put a single crochet in. So whenever you do row number three, you're taking the flatness out of it and putting the spikes back in that will fill in when you do row number two all over again. So chain three and in the same single crochet, apply three more double crochet. Okay, and then look to the next single crochet that you'll find over here, single crochet to pull it on over and then start another one. So chain three, so I keep dropping stitches and put in three double crochet. and then put a single crochet in the next single crochet that you run into and eventually you'll come to the other side. You'll chain three and then you'll be back into the same spot. Put three double crochet. And then you want to go into the top of this turning chain and put in a single crochet there to finish. And then you'll turn your work and get ready. So you can see that you're back to doing the spikes once again. So the repeating is done now. Rows number two and three are the repeat for the whole thing. So if you wanted to start row number two again, all you have to do is chain three to begin and place in three more double crochet into the top of the single crochet. And in this row, we're just looking for that chain three space and we're just going to plop it right in the single crochet right in that space. And what we're doing is we're flattening out this edge again. So right here in the single crochet down here, we're going to put in three double crochet, single crochet into the uh, chain three space, and then plop it on down again, three double crochet, and you'll do this all the way across. So this is just repeating row number two. So you eventually will come to the other side and I'm going to talk about the repeating for the duration and you can change the colors as often or as you little as you want. When you get to the edge here, I recommend not going into a space, but go into the top of the chain three and it will hold it into position like that. So do you see it's almost got a lean going in one direction and this direction is kind of going in. So it kind of confirms that we're doing the stitch correctly compared to the pattern. Let's talk about the repeats. So on page number one, it had this striping pattern and it had the breakdown, if you recall, and you can see that information right here if you're interested. So then it says to repeat the second and third rows until 147 rows of the stripe pattern are complete. If you don't wanna worry about the striping and just let the yarn play its own tune, you're welcome to do so. At the end of this, on the end of the, the instructions, what we have to do is that we have to then finish off. You're going to notice is that the end pieces are flat. So you wanna make sure that you're at a flat piece in order to do that. So the fringe is just going across and I'll show you how to do that next. To do the fringe, we're gonna start off and we're going to start by chaining 15 and slip stitch second chain from the hook and all the way down to the remaining. You're going to then single crochet each of the next three stitches and you're gonna do this all the way across your particular item. If you don't like slip stitching, you can also just do single crochet, but just let you know that that would take up more yarn just in case you're on a budget for that. So let's show you how to do the fringe and you'll do the same on both sides with the right side facing up. 
Now, what's kind of misleading about this, if you look at the instructions, it says the shot's reversible. There's no right side or wrong side. So when it says to do your fringe on the right side, you're just going to have to guess. So what I would seriously consider doing, though, is that if you want it to be really consistent, just grab a, a, a stitch marker and apply it to one side. So when you go to start, then the other side, when you go to finish off one, you are doing the same on the, both, on the same side. So if I was just to turn my work and just apply my fringe here, then what I would want to do is mark my stitch marker here. And so I'll do it here. And when I'm done this fasten off, I can just turn over the whole wrap and just do this side here because it's the same side. Let's begin the fringe. To do the fringe, you're going to chain 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and, and 15 is next. Second chain from the hook, you're just going to slip stitch all the way back down. If you prefer to single crochet, then you're welcome to do that. The advantage to this as well is that you'll have nice long fringe, uh, but you will not have any things that are going to be falling apart if you go to wash or tangle with each other. And of course, if you don't like fringe, then you can leave it off as well. Fringe is very um, one of those subjects that people either love or they hate. And so you have to decide what is going to be best for your creativity. And there's no crochet police as far as I know, because I'd be arrested already for changing my ideas constantly. So once you come all the way back down, you're just going to move along in your stitch work. So the next three are going to be single crochet. So one, two three and then you're going to then chain a total of 15 again so that, let me just take a look at the instructions just quickly here so we just immediately just chain 15 again so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen you'll slip stitch all the way back down to this and then single crochet in the next three and you'll continue to do that all the way across once you have that done you can just fasten off and then just turn it over like this and begin to just work your way along this side and it's just every stitch equals things remember that you have your chains here so there remember you skipped over three chains so those three chains you'll go right into but I wouldn't hesitate to go into spaces if, if that makes it easier for you as well. So this is an idea, and this here is the Softly Striped Crochet Wrap by yarnspirations.com. Want to know more? Hit that subscribe now.